right, gang, welcome back. This is actually part two of a two for this week. So if you're just tuning in because you found this through YouTube, this is part two where we create a texture brush off from an animal texture that we created in part one. So if you got here with part two and you want to see part one, go ahead. It's linked down in the description. Make sure you check that out if you're interested in how we prep photos to become texture brushes. If you're not and you're saying, I don't care how the sauce is made, I just want to eat it. Let's go ahead and get into the lesson this week. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to make it 2000 by 2000, and we've got a workspace. Now I'm going to create a pixel layer, and then I'm going to flood fill this bad boy. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the color. Oh, we're going to make it kind of a mid tone gray. All right, so let's go ahead and flood fill it. All right, problem solved, problem staying solved. Now I create a pixel layer above. And now the entire focus of this video is brushes. So let's go ahead and create a new category. Let's call them, rename the category, and we'll call them animal textures. Okay, cool. Now for those that watched part one, what we did is we made a texture out of an African elephant ass. So we've got an animal texture file. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new intensity brush inside of Affinity Photo. Now these texture files are in your downloads. So we've got texture one and then I inverted it. I'm gonna do it with texture one and then you, if you wanna play with it, can do the inversion. All right, so you just create it and now this brush doesn't look anything like that. So let's go ahead and check it out. What I wanna do here, I wanna crank up the size and then I wanna crank down the hardness, increase the spacing crank down the flow to about 70% and then hit close. All right, now let's give it a shot. We grab our brush, all right, we come over here, we look at the color. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a gray that's a little bit darker than what I was using here. I'm gonna go ahead and right bracket up here and now let's see what we get. That looks like pretty consistent elephant texture to me. I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, that looks really good. Now, for bonus points, you can play with a lot of stuff here. You can go through and you can multiply it out with blend modes. You can go through and add an effect. Let's say we wanted to take this bad boy into a 3D type effect. You can go through and apply 3D to this bad boy. Crank up the radius on that thing. You get some pretty cool stuff going on with this. All right, so you now have a brush in animal textures. Now, if you're kind of confused about how I did that and you just rather get the brush, the brush is also available for download. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and export that brush. So we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna go, now let's export the entire category, export brushes, animal texture brushes, put it in the downloadables and now they're yours. So you guys know how to import into your Affinity Photo? There you go. All right, folks, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe so that you never miss an update from us. We try to do one at least once, maybe twice a week. And if you're interested in learning more about Affinity Photo, check out the link below to go to our course, Affinity Photo, Complete Guide to Editing in Affinity Photo, down there in the description. All right, folks, on behalf of Seven Season Studios, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. If there's anything else I can do to add value or any way that you're struggling in Affinity Photo, hit me up. All right, see you later.